Today is the feast day of St. Matthias the Apostle. This Mass is being offered for the souls of Nicolau, Sidalisa Peva, Peter Church, Jean Edgar, Selinda Canas, and for the holy souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, acknowledging our sinfulness. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Amen. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Amen. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. Be the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who has signed St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the days following the Lord's return to heaven, Peter stood up among the believers, together the crowds, together the crowds numbered about a hundred and twenty persons. He said, friends, the scripture had been fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit through David foretold concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his homestead become desolate and let there be no one to live in it. And let another take his position of overseer. So one of the men who accompanied us during all that time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from it, one of these must become a witness with us to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in the ministry and apostleship from which G Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for the two candidates, and the lot fell on Mat Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The Lord will count him among his people. Praise, O servants of 
the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord from this time on and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks from down on the heavens and on the earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with, prince, with princes and with the princes, with the princes of his people. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, to go and bear fruit that will last. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, being the feast of St. Matthias the Apostle, we heard how he was elected. To the place of Judas, the one who betrayed Jesus. Actually, as I was uh, listening to the gospel, I was reminded of my ordination day. This was the theme I chose on my ordination. You did not Choose me, but I chose you. So Jesus has chosen each and every one of us to bear fruit that is lasting. Jesus says, There is no greater love than this to lay down one's own life for his friends. 
Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, died for you and for me. Out of that great love, therefore, let us follow his commandment of love. Love one another as I have loved you. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we are received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we are received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by your Lord and may I sacrifice in your sight. This day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Yes. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Yes. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Collins, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, 
You take away the sins of the world. Come on, us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts and through blessed Matthias' intercessions for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the saints in light through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mercy is in the going peace of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.